Picture Jacques Cartier paddling up the St. Lawrence in his tiny boat, seeing this land for the first time. Hold on. Did he tell the whole story, or was there some embellishment? Are you ready to set your sail? Because we're digging into Cartier's accounts of his voyages, separating fact from fiction, and seeing how they shaped Europe's view of our neck of the woods. Back in 1534, Cartier set sail, looking for a northwest passage to Asia. Now his writings are full of detail, descriptions of the landscape, the people he met, even the animals, like those funny walking beavers he called casters. Sounds pretty legit, right? But here's the thing. Cartier was financed by King Francis I, who craved riches and glory. So there's a chance some details got inflated to make the king happy. Like Cartier mentions diamonds in Canada. That's about as likely as finding a moose wearing a monocle. And remember, Cartier came from a different world. He saw things through European eyes, which means his descriptions might be biased. For example, he describes indigenous people as savages, a term loaded with assumptions about their way of life. So we got to read between the lines? Don't get me wrong, Cartier's accounts were somehow groundbreaking. They sparked European interest in North America, paved the way for further exploration, and even influenced early maps. Think of it like the first draft of a story, you know, full of its own perspective, but still laying the foundation for what came next. So the next time you see a picture of Cartier in a history book, remember, there's more to the story than meets the eye. His accounts are a fascinating mix of fact, fiction, and cultural bias offering a glimpse into both the land he explored and the world he came from. And hey, that's pretty darn interesting, huh?